Hi guys, Merry Christmas Eve. I mean, I think the video by the time this video is out, it will be Christmas or maybe past Christmas. But today is Christmas Eve, and uh, Shiv and I both just didn't know what to do this year because we have done house parties, we have dug on to restaurants, eating out. We actually had a trip also last year, and we just couldn't figure out that what to do. We were actually bored at home, and we thought maybe before I. uh go back to mumbai and we resume our work from our work locations let's do a weekend getaway like a staycation and this time we are exploring one of the zamindari style heritage properties of calcutta it's in swabhumi and it's called rajkutir uh the interiors and all look very promising and uh, what attracted us both towards the property is basically the entire bengali architecture and when you know very zamindari style architecture there are courtyards and there is like you know large rooms all the architecture and the arches look like you know one from the bengali zamindari era so all of that uh, intact uh, we are now heading to uh, you know to check in i am ready i will just book a cab and leave shiv will meet me directly at rajkutir and uh, yeah let's explore the christmas festivities that are going on in that area around the you know in the courtyards of rajkutir there is a promising dinner there is uh, amazing live singing and all that you know uh, looks very promising and uh, we are just uh, not calm and we can't wait to explore it and take you along with us let's go Well, it already feels like I have entered a portal to travel back in time and live in a story that's transporting me to the glorious days of Bengal's Renaissance. Modeled along the lines of Bengal's old Rajbaris, Rajkutir is designed as the mansion of the fictional Kali Prasanna Singh. I am a tad bit late. She was already waiting at the reception. We'll have to complete some checking in formalities. Hi. Hello, sir. Hello. Did you? Not just the architecture, you'll get lost in history, even with the interiors and the decor that the hotel has imbibed from Bengali culture. Just look at the brass decor items. Look at the trumpets. Everything just yells mythological times. Actually, it just looks from a page in history. Oh, and that's the book which. has the tale of kali prasanna singh and his family who fictionally lived in the premises of rajkutir oh so it starts by saying rajkutir is not a place but a journey through timelessness indeed although it is a fictional tale woven out of pure fantasy but when you peruse through these pages standing in the courtyards of rajkutir You are just teleported to the times when these courtyards echoed with laughter and conversation of Kali Prasanna and his family. I cannot tell you it's kind of a spine chilling experience as well because you know that that family is no more here and you are going to bask in its lavishness and glory of the zamindari heritage. Reading done, time to quickly complete the formalities and time to live and experience this all.
रूम नंबर वन जीरो सेवन इस रूम की सर रूम नंबर वन जीरो सेवन Spread across 13 acres of land, Kali Prasanna's Raj Kutir has 33 state-of-art rooms, three large banquets, an all-day dining restaurant, a cafe, a deli, a shopping arcade, and an artisan's gallery. With 26 character rooms that tell the story of each of the personas in Kali Prasanna's fictional narrative, and seven atithi rooms, Raj Kutir just looks like a fantastic chance to bask in Bengal's royal opulence without royal connections. Let's see which room did we get. I think our room number is 107 and we are heading towards it. We might get a character room or a guest room. Is it Atithi or is it something else? Let's check out. Thanks for watching, make sure you like this video, drop in a comment or a feedback, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more such videos.